Hey, welcome back. Uh, so you can see I have my hind joints in finally um, and some other parts I'm going to be using on the front. I ordered some different shocks. These are about an inch shorter than what I ordered. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do on the front yet. I have an idea, but like everything, I just go with what I'm feeling at the moment and what I feel like looks right and is should be strong. And so I went and got some hardware uh, for the A-arms. I got some 5 inch long, half inch bolts uh, for the spindles. These are the spindle. I'm going to weld this to there and then I'll add some bracing to it. Um, I'm not sure how much yet until I get it slid in the wheel as far as I can. Um, but I took some of this it's half inch bore and 7 eighths OD um, fits perfect for the heim joints and the half inch bolt so this one out and move it down here somewhere wherever it comes straight up to this tube and it comes up from there and across. I cut up 16 of these oh, brackets, tabs, for the A-arms. I have two right here bolted with the heim joint in it. And I have it kind of jigged up where it needs to go. So I'm going to get the bottom four tacked into place. And then I'll set up another jig to set the height of the top A-arm. Okay, so I'm working on the spindles and putting those together. Um, I notched a 5 8 bolt to 15 degrees and then I set the carpenter square at 15 degrees on my table. I have it jigged up so I can just put the other pieces in and make the exact same spindle for the other side. So I'm going to wet tack weld that now. Okay, so I got the lower A arms put together and the spindles. I didn't get any footage of the A arms. I was too busy building them, but um, I'm building in a 
quite a bit of adjustment. Uh, put some washers here. They'll be up top too, and that'll help adjust the caster. I don't know where I'm going to put the shock shed though. Still thinking on that. But now I can start on the upper A arms since I have a distance of where they need to be. <clears throat> uh, I built a jig and copied the other A, other a arm. So. I'm going to start on the upper air arms now. Okay, so I'm going to end this video here. Uh, I got started on the front or upper A arm, um, but I'm not sure about this angle. It's at 15 degrees, which I've seen isn't a bad angle, but I want to see if I can get a little bit less angle. For when it's turning uh, so it doesn't have so much lift whenever it's turned all the way um, if anyone has any suggestions on that for drifting that would be nice to know um, but anyways next video I'll get the upper a arms done and shocks probably mounted uh, I need to start on some steering. Not sure what I'm going to do with the steering column shaft yet. Um, I'll work on that. So, hopefully, next time I can have it as a roller. So, yeah. Keep watching and share with your friends and like and subscribe. Go create something. <laughs>